How are we doing? Happy Tuesday. Um, are you guys hearing Lauren okay? Um, I am the talking wolf. Talking wolf. Talking wolf. <laughs> um, I might need to turn my mic down a little bit. I don't know. I'll turn it down just a smidge. Because apparently it was really loud. With the other setup, I have to go a little louder than usual. Mm. How's everybody doing? Happy Tuesday. It's been... I feel like it's already been quite a week, and it's Tuesday. <laughs> I know. I feel like it's way later in the week. It's not. And I work all the way through Sunday this week. Mm. So... <laughs> yeah, that's rough. Oh, man. Yeah. It's going to be a take it easy kind of weekend for sure. Um, So, I don't know how much more of this game we have left, but the, we have just finished these three chapters. Um, oh, I need to stream this to Discord for you. Neither. We've done nine chapters so far? Um... I think we've done, I think we've only done, oh no, we have done nine. Yeah. I forgot we did six the first week. Right, because the first three were pretty easy. Yeah. So yeah, we're, um, oh, this looks like a finale. That sure does. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay, okay. The new order, the triumph of order. That restart all progress button was menacing. Yeah, we don't go that near be... that one. <laughs> I would have had to cancel the stream, restart, replay the game, catch ourselves back up, and then Lauren and I can stream some other time. Yeah. In what the heck? Okay. There's always dead people. <laughs> Such a relief that they decided not to push any fashion charges. I hope the process is not painful. I don't know. That made no sense to me. <laughs> but I guess we'll figure it out. This tribunal is a farce. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust. And what do they even know about true art? I felt it in my bones that I should have drunk less. Now we poor souls experience God's wrath. What is happening? It is a thing of beauty to see order prevail. If it were not against the first virtue, I would feel very happy. Citizen, Mr. Nicholas Maker, birth 1757, record keeper of the order party. History of infraction and obedience. He was labeled a protocol as, labeled a protocol as being on Thursday, even though it was Wednesday. Tisk tisk. <laughs> Took a double length lunch break in the office. Mm, I've, I've done that. Loyal service in low ranking position to the order party, plus 10 merit. Hmm. Nicholas, I'll wager you feel the new regime rewards your diligence now. So tell me why I saw you spend more than three shillings on new clothes after I asked you to lend me money and you said you had none to spare. I suggest you lend me some now, unless you want me to write up an official report about a fourth virtue breach, your beloved brother. Oh, okay. Maybe he just doesn't want to give you money. Yeah, maybe you don't strike him as the type to repay it. Yeah. Weekly order party of People's Tribunal number 42. Six culprits are brought to the tribunal. The tribunal is opened. Each culprit's charges are evaluated and the merit changes are calculated. First culprit's merit ex exaction start, second and third. Okay. Poor bugger, I've never seen so much merit removed in the tribunal. Some mistakes are very costly. All right, we've got David Gorin. We are familiar with him. He had a secret compartment in his office lo locker. Denied the existence of the secret compartment. Uh, but he has loyal service in low ranking position to the order party. Okay. An Al Albion Frank. Albion Frank Franco? No idea. Don't know. Remember the second virtue. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> what? Dead guy. He's not breathing, but no apparent wounds. Oops. Prince of Dusk. Like night, I am dark and full of terror. I do not fear love. Do not make that error. When you know my name, just look for my face. Okay. What? I don't... This is... I don't know what the hell is going on here, so... <laughs> There's a bunch of people watching. Yeah. That is music to my ears, Alistair, but do control your emotions. We as arbiters of order must never violate the first virtue. Okay, more banknotes. Dr. James Turner, okay. Drank a full bottle of brandy at a picnic. Kept the book <laughs> Legacy of the Rose Dynasty in his study. Uh, okay. Yeah, a loyal service to the order party. Okay. Dear Dr. Turner, I must regretfully inform you that during your absence from party business, your senior assistant Daniel has just demonstrated extreme untidiness and thus breached one of the virtues. Junior assistant Toby. Okay. That's such a cult thing to just be like, we don't like these qualities, yeah. therefore you're breaching contracts. Right. Uh, okay, Fanger Quinn. Hello. Mr. Finger Quinn claimed he had no wife, has a painting depicting a naked person in his house. Oh no. No! Broke oh, his wife's oh. favorite teapot in anger, was observed spending a night with neighbor's wife. Oh boy. Oh, well, Hi Avery. Now why did my phone notify me you guys are playing? I don't know. We've only just started though. You haven't missed much. We missed um, you on Nancy Game Night. We did. We talked to Hotchkiss. Yeah, we, it was a Hotchkiss game. All right, Walter Keane. He flirted with three times, three whole times with different married women during the party <laughs> convention. Wore a ridiculous headgear at five public events and claimed he had not been had not betrayed High Arbiter Lazarus during his ritual of ascendance. Expelled from the party. Lothar. Held a dinner party a few years ago where he offered large amounts of wine to his guests. Got angry oh, no. during the questioning and shouted at the High Arbiter. Uh, and revealed the whereabouts of his hiding fugitive dissident daughter Mary and her husband. Oh no. Why is there hair in this? In I don't like that. Okay. Josh Bailey. Left his work at Tannery early. Drank excessive amounts of gin at the Scrawny Cat. Drank excessive amounts of rum at the Old Oak. <laughs> Approached a married woman with an indecent offer. And denied four times during questioning that he had done these acts. <laughs> Deny till you die. Okay. Horace Webb uh, has not held down a job since the new regime evaluated as 60 instances, instances of non-work. Okay. Claims he works in his castle, helping his servants clean it. Possesses 15 books kept in his private library. No, how dare he have books? Not 15. Express willingness to donate his castle to the party. 200 merit. That's a lot of merit. And then Gideon Bell wears an outrageous hairstyle, broke down in tears <laughs> 10 times during the questioning, oh. <laughs> has refused to start working, uh, evaluated as five instances of job skipping, rejected the High Arbiter's request that he share information of a secret entrance to, of, to the castle of his cousin the Sovereign. This hair is giving barbarian. Wait, this one or this one? I think in the in the envelope. It must be this one. Oh, I identify as Gideon. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi, 
I don't like his face. No. It's, kind of... it's unsettling. Yeah. It's yeah. The bulging eyes. It's the like, eyes. He, like gulps for air like he's a fish or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you insinuating, James? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. Okay. He slapped a sergeant in anger. He listened to marching music in his manner. <laughs> They're so, like, picky and fussy. Loyal service to the order party in a high-ranking position. Dear Arbiter Cook, I am writing to inform you that our re regiment's colonel was seen with another officer's wife in a potentially intimate situation. We implore you to send your agents to investigate this potential flouting of the first virtue. Uh, okay, so, oh, this is the, this is the guy. Silence, you'll perform your function as much as required. It is paramount to ensure order in our new society. Remember the second virtue. Store confiscated objects and evidence according to the virtue breached. Observe the four virtues to avoid losing merit. Okay. Uh, look at the people first. In all truth, Lord High Arbiter, I would prefer storing no more than this. London Gazetteer, 1795. Okay, since year 1792, when it gained a majority in Parliament and liberated our government from multi-party chaos, the Order Party has worked hard to improve society. Despite the vast popular support for the party, His Majesty refuses to acknowledge the authority of the party's tri uh, tribunal. High Arbiter Lazarus Hurst has announced that in two months, the party and its supporters will participate in a peaceful march to the king's current residence to demonstrate their virtue of moderation. I am honored to help the party upkeep the four virtues. I only hope sitting here all day does not count as sloth. Eh, there are worse jobs than this one. And thank God tobacco is not considered an indulgence. A bit boring, though. Too bad literature is forbidden. Okay, but these are children, right? I don't think so that's what i thought when we first walked in here and i was like oh no but i don't think they are they don't look like children the one i mean you're right but also they're so small yeah i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't know all right we've got brandy and opium An invoice from Blackbrook Farm. Three pounds of butter is 25 pence. Delivery, six pence. Okay. A violin. Gideon. <laughs> A portrait of Gideon Bell, painted by Jasmine Nightwings in 1794. What is... <laughs> <laughs> I don't... What are we supposed to make of these scenes? Are those supposed to give us a clue as to what the virtues are? I... I think so, yeah. Let's see, what do they want us to know? The first virtue is blank. Excessive blank 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 will be punished. Lust? Yeah, that sounds right. First virtue is lust. The second virtue... Or... wait. The first virtue... I feel like... Lust is something that would not be tolerated, right? Like, it would go in this column. Oh, okay. 
perhaps. Maybe moderation and okay. like lust, indulgence, and secrets. I don't. I let's yeah. let's look at. Um, yeah, go back. It's just what's in the okay so in the bread chest is like indulgences like brandy and opiates the white chest which is the wings i don't understand what is wrong here they ordered a butter delivery i guess because it was three pounds of it like that's a lot that's not moderation. Also, these numbers don't add up. Is that part of it? Oh, maybe it's like... Maybe they're fudging the numbers? Slides. Okay, and then there's a sun. Art. Yeah, like art, music, and literature probably. And then the eye. Oh no, these are. The eye is literature. The eye is literature. All. All right, I think we should read through like these. So you drank a full body of bottle of brandy and kept a book. Okay, so he, loyal service to the order party in high ranking position. He got 20 merit for that and lost eight. James Turner. Oh, he's not even on here. What was he saying in his dialogue? This music to my ears, Alistair, but do control your emotions. We as Arbiter of Orders must never violate the first virtue. It's that lust, indulgence, and emotion. Maybe. Oops. Okay, and he says, What are you insinuating? I would never breach the fourth virtue. You know damn well that I keep no secrets. Secret. So it's probably truth, then, is the. Yeah. Alright, and he, this is Alistair Cook, got a total of 11, so he's lost 9 by listening to music and slapping a sergeant in anger. that they decided not to push any fashion charges. I hope the process is not painful. So fashion is not being like people aren't being charged for fashion offenses I guess. They spread lies that my pure love is merely lust and what do they even know about art? Felt it in my bones that I should have drunk less. Now we poor souls experience God's wrath. Alright, so this is Nicholas Maker. 
got 10 mana and then lost six because he I guess his diligence was lacking here and he took an extra long lunch break Yeah. You think secrets and lies? They're like. They nice tend to go together, yeah. I think beauty is with art and music. Or fashion, probably fashion. I have no idea what this thing is. Untidiness or mistakes or. Right, like mistakes. So diligence is probably the main the one. The top you thing, yeah. yeah. Untidiness is uh, right above. Oh, there it is. And then probably sloth. Yeah. So then. Beauty? <gasps> wow! I can't we just did that. I. <laughs> I'm kind of stunned. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to shovel this around so much. Okay. I am so proud of this. I'm right shocked. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, okay. Do we want to try these next? I don't know. Yes, no. David Gorin. Secret compartment in his office locker. Deny the existence of the secret compartment. I don't think he's on here either, is he? Uh, uh. So I'm. That's weird, right? Where like, did we, we can see those guess names? It goes way, but. Oh, here they are. It's these. Oh, okay. I was very confused. Yes. So we just need to figure out how much each of those costs. Yeah. But how do we know how much merit they have accrued? That's is, a good point. Is my question. Um, yeah, all my pens just keep disappearing, and I only ever use them right here. Where do they go? Where do they go? Okay, there's one over here. <laughs> okay, so we have moderation. Which is red. We have diligence. White. Beauty. Uh, gold. And truth. So, we know that some of them are four. So, like, I think we have to figure out how much each of them, like, cost based on... Based on the, the other... Here. Right. Yeah. So, like, he... Lost six total. So... He I'm made sure. a mistake with diligence. And he took a double-length lunch break in the office. Which is swath. So he that did. Is. So those are both under diligence, right? Yes, they. Yes. So they would be equal. Okay, so these are worth three. Three. Okay. All right. And he this had... is secrets and lies. So he had. They, they, these must just only be worth one. That because. Seems like should be worth more. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like yeah. Secrets and lies are <laughs> we're only gonna make those worth fun to bear. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so he's lost eight. He... I, too, like to take a double length lunch break. I mean, who doesn't? Who, Me who hasn't? <laughs> um, for a while there, I only had 30 minutes for lunch, and I would watch The Great British Baking Show every single day. Mm. And that's an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Um, take a full bottle of brandy. So that would go under moderation. So he's got a, a tick under... Because the book is the Secrets and Lies one. So that's under blue, right? Yeah, and that's only one. So the red so ones are also be... worth three. Red infractions for moderation. Well, so he had... 20, and then he only lost one for the book, so that's 19, so it would be 7. Oh, I looked at the numbers wrong. I was thinking, um, yeah, so these would be worth 7. And then you. Listen to music and slap the sergeant in anger. Emotions. So he would have had 20, he lost 7, he would have had 13, so they're worth 2. Gold ones are worth 2. Yep. Okay. So if we go based off of that... Don't judge me, Avery. I mean, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I got paid very little, if it helps. <laughs> um, so this is Fanger Quinn. He claimed he had no wife, which would have been a lie, right? Yes. So that's minus one. He has a painting depicting a naked person. That's art. So that's two. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger, which is seven. seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And was observed spending a night with a neighbor's wife. Would that also be seven? Yeah. 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 So he's at 17. Dang. Um, oh, we, get, we have to fill these in. So these are minus seven. These are minus three. These are minus two. And these are minus one. One. Um, what did we just do? Quinn. This one. So, 17. Do, can we not put some? Yeah, we can't put something there. So he's but, at minus 17. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Walter Keen. Flirted three times with different married women during the party convention. Is that three times seven? Oh, maybe. We should write it down both ways. Just in case it's not. Flirted three times. What else would it be? This? Oh, I, no, feel I mean, like, I definitely think it's in the moderation category. Let's just, like, is it minus seven or is it minus 21? Oh, I got you. Yeah. So minus seven. <clears throat> wore ridiculous headgear at five public events. That would be fashion. So that's minus two. And claimed he had not betrayed High Arbiter. So lie. So that's just minus one. So he's at minus ten. Presumably. Okay. Yeah. Either minus 10 or, or minus, minus 31. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he gets expelled, so. <laughs> uh, all right. We have Lothar Richards. Held a dinner party a few years ago where he offered large amounts of wine, which would be indulgence. indulgence. Yeah. So minus seven and got angry, which is another minus seven. Um, Ruth, I guess. Black. 
Oh, evaluate is plus 15 merit. So plus 15. Right, so he's at negative 14 plus 15, so he's at positive 1. Yeah. Alright. And then Josh Bailey left his work at Tannery early, which is white. Yeah, three. Drank excessive amounts of gin, minus seven. Another seven. Another seven. Approach Shamir. Another seven. Uh -oh. Ouch. Denied four <laughs> times during questioning that he had done these acts. So, either Either's minus seven. one or minus four. Yeah. There. So, he doesn't have any merits, so he's at, that's 10, 17, 24. He's at either minus 25, 17, or minus 29. Right? 10, 17, four Oh, yeah, 28. <clears throat> Horace Webb. Not held down a job since the new regime. So he's, like, lazy. 60 instances of non-work. So do we think that's 60 things? I think we should look at both, yeah. All right. It's either one or the other. They're, I feel like they're giving us these numbers for a reason. So it's either minus three. I know, I feel like the number is for sure. Or, yeah, or minus 90. Claims he works in his castle helping his servants to clean it. That would be like a lie. Yeah. I think that's more of a lie. So that would be minus one. Possesses 15 books kept in his public li pr uh, private library. So books are minus one? Yeah. So that's either minus one or minus 15. Um, so th but then he got 200 merit. So he's either... I feel like that's why his is so high. <laughs> it's because we're going to take 90 away from him. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise he's at... Uh, like One ninety-five or you got one eighty? Yeah, so it was it's three, right? Is the sloth is three points. Sixty times three is one eighty. I don't know why I said ninety. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the total you got was 180. Okay. So yeah, so he's either at 195 or he's at 180. So that would also be 195. So he's either at 195 or five. Oh my gosh, it's probably five. <laughs> I don't think we can put triple digits in. You can't in. put in triple digits, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then Gideon Bell has an outrageous hairstyle, which is minus two. Broke down in tears ten times, so probably minus 70. Yeah. Uh, refused to start working. Evaluate as five instances of job skipping, which would be a minus 15. Or rejected the high arbiter's request that he shared information of a secret entrance to the castle of his cousin. So that would just be minus one, right? Yeah. The lie. So he's at, that's 72. Well, that'd be 85, 86, 87, 88. Minus 88. Alright. Okay. Let's let's see. <laughs> Alter Keen is, we think he's at minus 21 
minus 23, so minus 24. Okay. So if we try Walter Keynes without the multiplied, he would be at minus 10. What? Uh, are we sure we got the first one right? Mm, claim you have no wife. Minus one, right? Yeah. Um, has a painting depicting a naked person, which is art, which is minus two. Broke his wife's favorite teapot in anger, minus seven. And was observed spending a night with a neighbor's wife, minus seven. And that's okay. 14, 15, 16, 17. Minus 17. Okay. Yep. And then Keen flirted three times with different married women. So that's either minus 21 or minus 7, right? Yeah. Okay. Wore ridiculous head... Oh, this is what we did wrong. Wore ridiculous headgear at five public events. But, be but they're not doing fashion. Okay, so we can ignore that one. Oh my gosh, you're right. So, did this guy have any fashion? No. Okay, so... So, just, yeah. so he claimed he had not been... So yeah, the just minus one, so yeah. Uh, so is it 22? Because the, the lies is just worth one, right? Right, so it'd be 21 and 1, right? Three times seven. Mm. Unless they only want us to count it once, which in which case it would be minus eight. What? Can we try 32? 32. Wait, how did you get 32? <laughs> okay, so I did count the fashion. And it was so it was 5 times 2, so I added another 10. Okay, so we're not supposed to get rid of the fashion ones. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> All right. I would you though. That guy says they got they're not doing the Right. Fashion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have Lothar at plus 1. And Josh Bailey, probably at minus 28. That's the bigger number if we were like to multiply one of his infractions. Nice. All right. Horace Webb, I think my dude is at five. Nice. Started out with 200. <laughs> uh, and Gideon Bell, I think, is at minus 88. No. All right, okay. let's look at those again. Not held down a job since the new regime. So, sloth. Three times 60 is 180. Okay. Yeah, and then claims he works in his castle helping his servants clean it would be. I'm thinking since he said claims that it is. A lies, lie. But do we think it's untidiness? It could be. So it's either minus one or minus three. Yeah. Um, possesses 15 books kept in his private library. So I took away 15 for that. One for each book. Is it He would be at four. So 180. It'd be five, right? I did 
180 plus 1 plus 15. 196. Oh, plus, okay, sorry. I confused myself. So, yeah, so he would either be, so we, yeah, let's try four for him. Okay. Oh okay. my gosh. We love math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Blank souls or years? Oh, it's it's going to be years, right? Probably. It was somewhere was up that? here. Where was that like newspaper clipping or whatever? Uh, Talking about when the order gained power. It all the way downstairs. Wow, Zach is practicing high notes in the garage and it cuts sounds off. <laughs> Talking about it had been X amount of time since the order party in this room. took over. One of them have it? Ah. 1792. And it's 1795 now. Three years? Cease power during a tribunal. Blank blank is judged to have the largest merit deduction. Yeah. Uh, and it's Gideon, right? Gideon. <laughs> yeah. Poor Gideon. Yeah. In all tribunal history, to execute his punishment, blank was used on him, and he lost blank, blank and died? Hold on. So is this supposed to be him dead? Ooh. So they took away his years, right? Because he's he doesn't have any apparent wounds. Yeah. I think they so they did they use the idol on him. So did they take away eighty eight years? Eight years. <gasps> That's awful. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. oh, he just wanted blue hair. <laughs> and he was just highly emotional and he like cried a lot. <laughs> what a tarot. Oh my god, that's awful. The young Duke Gideon Bell has judged during the tribunal to have lost 88 merits. The high arbiter of the party, Lazarus Hurst, used the idol to decrease Gideon's youth by 88 years, thus making him 108, which resulted in his death. Wow. No. Wow. Oh Rough. The new order. A slight delay in the peaceful march to the king's castle. Ooh. All right, we've got Belchester Castle. Just take all these things. Oh god. Since his success at the Mermaid Inn has proven to be a resourceful and discreet professional. Nicholas Maker. Cowardly but dutiful. Useful up to a limit. Pomp is in vain, but being a military man is ready to obey and ready to kill. Greedy and hedonistic. Requires constant material and motivation to cooperate. 
Yeah. Oh, the penis, too. They all, yeah. Looks demonic. Ambitious and inventive, but treacherous, as many smart people are. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I will make the story of your true origins known to, to the other party leaders. At half 11 on May 15th, meet me at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death. Come alone and bring proof, something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Tie your reply to the pigeon and release it from the cage. It will find me. Okay, so s homing pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> Just really wild to me that that It's like a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh yes, Comrade Lazarus has not yet returned for several hours. Comrades Alistair and James have gone to find him. If they do not return, we will organize more search parties to find the lost. Okay. Hello? This regime has to fall. It has taken everything from me. The watch is ticking, ticking and shows it's 12.15 p.m. Don't you want to bet this Lazarus guy is dead? I feel like he is. A Navaja blade. Capital route morning report. At 8, a newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. At 8.30, an individual in the insurrectionist uniform passes by on the new two-wheel contraption. And at 10.15, two individuals in insurrectionist uniforms pass on horses. Okay. Hello, Mr. Coke. Why are you not working, you worthless piece of garbage? I am doing the same thing I saw Lazarus do during the merit executions. Ooh. Oh, but the gem is not blue or red. Yeah. Dented saber. A man in a helmet with numerous cuts on his body. He's not breathing. Slightly dented saber with some blood on it. Can you get the, yeah. Belchester Castle, Blackfields, Cross Towers, Woodshires. Oh my god. <laughs> it's weird because like you hit the right mouse button to like back out of everything else, but for whatever these little text box, you have to right, you have to left click on them to make them go away. Um, okay, let's check here. A newly invented transportation device. Oh, you see the guy in the swamp? Mm-hmm. You will find me in the place where we two first met. There we can talk. Empty pistol, loaded pistol. Okay, so he's potentially shot one. Damn you, you cunning devil. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's one shot. Oh, I recognize that voice. It is you. Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap as you all did as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. He shot at a straw person. Huh. Let's like, see, there was... He's a dark hand. There's initiates, masters, and... Steward? Stewards, or, I think, yeah. We just very overdid in our head. Uh, <laughs> no, I think stewards was correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bullet lodged in the wall. A scarecrow with a hole through its head. white pigeon this is where they were supposed to be i may have treated you unjustly after our long cooperation i will come alone in peace so we can discuss your compensation okay Oh, we 
we've been here before. A pile of mangled and burned corpses. And an empty cannon. That's it. Guess you can go. Why would there be two of those? Huh? I guess that's it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I have some small but pressing business to attain to at the property of our late brother Sebastian, the previous proud beast steward. I'll be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned. Really? Dear husband, you are so brave and you have been drinking since early this morning. But what will we do now? What if the evil government men find us? Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me, Edmund Cloudsley. Dear Mary, I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I will free you from his dirty paws and ship him to colonies. While you and I will, while you, while you, I will put on a pedestal of sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife. No. I don't. You're so weird and creepy. Don't like that. For you, I would fight a tiger and win, Peter Batley. Mary, my uncle Edmund Cloudsley died in some robbery and I am rich. Now your father will see me for the man that I am. Let's marry. Worry not and continue the feast, wife. Nothing can stand in my way. I will kill our enemies wherever we go. An almost empty whiskey flask. Horse racing small sword okay uh okay <laughs> oh we're back hey. here interesting nonsense I am not an idiot but real men like us could beat those order party ninnies even without any weapons But I heard rumors you lost a cannon while gambling. Do you think they will try to kidnap the king? Me and my employer are getting out of this blasted country. I've instructed him to arrive at around half 11. Most likely he will be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic, you may prefer him the instruction slip I gave you. Conceal your face, he may recognize you. Huh. Interesting. All those order rats sneaking around here, this is no good. I hope they will just blackmail me and bugger off. Uh, okay. So that's it? Yes, that's it. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Gosh, this one is going to be tough. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh, where's the, is it this lady? Yeah. Capital route morning report at 8 a.m. Uh. A newfangled insurrectionist carriage passes by. And then at 8.30, a individual in uniform on the bike. 
to the house. Right. right. And then at 10.15, two individuals uh, pass on horses. And that's probably the couple. Well, they're in uniform, though. So, I don't, I don't know. It's 12.15 right now. So whatever has happened to Lazarus has happened. I think. This is that he's the dead guy. Lazarus, you took 32 things from me. I demand you return them. If you refuse, I'll make the story of your true origins known to the other party leaders. At half 11 on May 15th, so at 11.30, they were supposed to meet at the place the idol was stolen from our brotherhood and poor Willard Wright met his death, so at the house. Uh, no, it's at the inn. Oh, you're right. Willard Wright was the dude who was killed upstairs. I was thinking Willard Wright was the guy in the chest at that house. Mm -hmm. um, at the inn. Come alone and bring proof, something personal of yours to give to the veiled woman. Okay. Tie your reply. And release it from the cage. So then, yeah, what does her stuff say? Instructed him to arrive at half eleven. Be in order party uniform. If he comes alone without any backup outside, approach him. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped your tonic. Oh, the uh, the one who escaped your tonic. The you know remember when the woman died instead of the other guy? Yeah. She drank poison. Who who was it supposed to kill? Him? We can check that. I think it was Walter. It's whoever was also... I mean, we filled out the thinking thing. Right, I was just... It was whoever had the full glass of gray stuff, so the person at the head of the table. So it's supposed to kill Edmund Cloudsley. Right? But Edmund Cloudsley is apparently dead now because that's what Peter said. That's what Peter said in this final one. Because mm -hmm. he's here, right? Yeah. And um, she had him built. Hmm. He died in a robbery. That's not right. I don't remember what well, didn't we? Uh, did I literally just forget his? What's this guy's name? Uh, yeah, so. Oh, he died in a robbery. So he died... Here? Yes. He blew himself up and he was hiding in this chest. He didn't die. Didn't he? died there. He looked fine in that chest. 
Well, I think... I think he's meant to have died because this is when the idol was robbed. So... He wouldn't have been there to take it? What does this say? To gain entrance to Edmund Cloudsley's secret force cabin, gentleman robber Walter Keane pretended to deliver a corpse to Edmund. While robbers were sawing through the lock, Edmund prepared a trap with the idol that killed two of the intruders. So... I guess maybe Walter Keane killed him in this robbery or something? Unless, yeah. So... I know, I'm like, I don't quite know where to start yet. So, okay, so the dude on the bike... Are we meant to presume that this is Lazarus who got the note and came here by himself on the bicycle? Yeah, but he's got this note, which makes me wonder. He's a dark hand steward. the dead guy at the crossroads I don't know <laughs> um what did they stole the idol um it's there where is he Yes. On the way back, they started to fight over it. None of the other blue words make sense there. Yeah. And we think this is probably Golden Idol, right? Probably what? Sorry? Alistair, one of those names. Oh, yeah. To try and blank, blank, and blank, blank went out. So they're the two individuals that rode by on horses, maybe, at 1015. Went out to try to find. At some point, people probably go looking for Lazarus. That's what this dude says. If they do not return, we will organize more search parties to find the lost. Comrade. So and James go to find him. Has not yet returned for. Okay, so Lazarus leaves. 
probably on the bicycle, right? Because he's the individual. He left by himself on bike. And then Alistair and James went on horseback to find him. Um, to try and find Lazarus first, Alistair Coke, James Turner. Went out to find, try and, said they found the golden idol at the crossroads? Yeah, I would assume at the crossroads and one of them died. James. No. Could have been dead body. But then the thing be. I mean, Alistair gets the golden idol, like he's got it. Right, so I think this would be Alistair. Kill James Turner. Mm-hmm. Look at the map. So they leave here looking for Lazarus who ended up here. And they find so it wouldn't have been they fought at the crossroads but instead they found Because why would the idol have just been at the crossroads? I don't know. Like, if they go to that house, the other guy is there, so... I feel like this first sentence is right. Like, we have hard evidence that, like, make... Like, I think that's right. Will and you put crossroads into one at the right? That's the way to check. Oh, it doesn't tell you. Doesn't lock it in. Instead, they found the blank blank at the blank. On the way back, they started to fight over it. So, if... So, maybe... The guy with the shotgun would have seen them. So he must have left it. We think Lazarus. Or he went earlier in the day, yeah. Maybe he did go to the inn. The lady gave him that note. Oh, you know what? Maybe mm. it is. So maybe Lazarus went to the inn and gave her the idol as proof that he, like, wanted to make it up to them or whatever. And then the lady gave him the note saying, okay, meet him at this place. And that's why Lazarus went there. And then he got shot by whoever it is that was blackmailing him. Maybe? So the idol would have been... At the end. To meet. Do we have that lady's name? Yeah. He Is it in the book? The, um, 
on the guy's desk. But it's Mary, isn't it? No, Mary's the blonde lady. Oh, it is. These people are being wrongfully detained. Let them go. <laughs> Um, they went out to find Lazarus. Instead, they found the blank blank at the blank. I mean, that's definitely the golden island. Yeah. At the somewhere. At the somewhere. And on the way back, they fought over it. But it's not crossroads. So we think this is James Turner, right? Yes. Probably. So it'll be somewhere past the crossroads that they found the golden idol. Yeah. Because this is Lazarus's horse? Small but pressing business to attend to the property of our late brother Sebastian, the previous property steward. We'll be back at the camp for our 10 o'clock strategy meeting as planned. Lazarus. So this is not Lazarus's horse. He wasn't on a horse. Alistair and James were on horses. So yeah, this is maybe James. Because I think uh, he's got his horse with them. Carriage is what passed at eight o'clock in the morning. It ended up here. So, in early in the morning, whoever went to the Um, this is the manor, I think. Oh no, it is Belchester Castle. I just don't know. How do we make sense of this? Alistair killed James at the crossroads. 
or This is the end and this guy is old now so I'm really guessing that this is the last section mm -hmm. um, where it's like uh, that you fill in it's like he tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst to gain back his lost years who is that though We can look for the dark maid in that other, because um, I think those things are at the top because we have to go back to other chapters. Yeah, and I'm wondering, because he says, poetic that you fall into the same trap as you did those years ago with the straw man. Did any of these have a straw man situation? But if we go to this, wait, 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 the straw man. Yeah. <laughs> so who, who fell for the straw man in that scene? To gain entrance to Edmund Clausley's secret forest cabin, gentleman robber Walter Keane pretended to deliver a corpse to Edmund for his experience, experiments. On entering the cabin, the robbers ambushed the servants. Edmund locked himself in his study. So, Edmund fell for the straw corpse. Or to he killed two people. So, do we think it's Walter Keane? But no, Walter Keane is the one who used a straw man to fool somebody and he was using the straw corpse to fool Edmund or potentially he fooled David Gorin. Right? Let's see that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He did die.
Okay. So we think potentially Walter Keen tried to blackmail Lazarus Hurst to get his back his lost years. Yeah. Is Walter Keen a dark hand steward? We can check that, can't we? I thought he died. Um, what chapter do you know? Uh, um, the one with the masks. Yeah. No, this is Walter Keen. Oh. He is a dark hand steward, so that would make sense with the guy's tattoos in the pond. Okay, yeah. But then, wouldn't he be killing David Gorin, not? because David Gorin's the one that fell for the scarecrow. But it makes more sense that it's Lazarus. It makes more sense that it's Lazarus, but maybe there's two different plot lines happening here at the same time. Yeah. Like two different things. So, he went to the cabin. Walter Keen went to the cabin to blackmail. blackmail. No. So, what if... I know. Um, Walter Keene is the one that kills somebody. Walter okay. Keene is the dude in the pond with the tattoo on his back. Yeah. And I think he is trying to get his lost years back. Probably you, via the golden uh, idol, right? Like, no, he shoots him. Well, but I thought, I mean, he's trying to blackmail, so he's trying to get something out of him, right? He's trying to get his lost years out. Just by shooting him? I guess maybe. Because if he uses the idol, he can, like, reverse what the idol did when it took his years away from him to begin with. At least I thought. <laughs> Isn't it poetic that you have fallen for the same trap as you did all those years ago? Straw men are your bane. Here that he's got a monkey. Okay. So, so in the afternoon, Walter Keene went to the cabin to kill somebody because... To kill David Gorin? Because he tried to blackmail...
Somebody went to the cabin to do something to someone because they have tried to... So I think this is, the way I'm reading this, the same name has to be on here twice. Walter Keen went to the cabin to because it's gotta be Lazarus in that bottom thing like nobody else took away his year yeah if we're and it makes sense because Lazarus has the golden idol, so if he's going to get his years back, that's who he would have to kill, right? <laughs> Spork said, I zoned out and I truly have no idea what's happening anymore. Um, <laughs> we don't really either. <laughs> this is very confusing. We're really struggling. Had tried to blackmail then maybe. Okay. Maybe let's come back to that one. <laughs> Early in the morning. Who went to the what? <laughs> Somebody went to the manor. Or the castle, sorry. Right? Yeah. To wanted to blank the blank blank. This is probably also Golden Idol, right? Yeah. She's very badly now. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? They're just like sitting there. He's been drinking since this early this morning. These two feel like out of the I, picture for me. Cause like, I think the only thing relevant is that like the horse rides by. And this is James's horse. and burned I don't know cuz like the idol would have been with Lazarus at the beginning of the day right yeah Presumably. what's in his tent oh just a statue of himself Carriage passes by. 
So the carriage passes by and it's not James, Lazarus, or Alistair in the carriage. Because they all come later. J yeah. Lazarus comes by on the bike and we then don't know that. We know that. We're assuming that he was trying to get to the inn by morning to meet, right? He could have been the one in the carriage, I guess. I guess, but the carriage ends up here. Yeah. So why would Lazarus have wanted to be here? This is... I don't understand why anybody wants to be here. What is, like, what is happening in this scene? Kidnap the king. She's got an Edmund Cloudsley handkerchief. If he gives you something that belonged to the one who escaped... Which is Cloudsley, so he gave her the handkerchief. Right. You may prefer him the instruction slip I gave you. So, yeah. So he was there. Lazarus was there. Lazarus Hurst went to the inn to where it gets weird because right, because like put her name in. But she's working for somebody. Me and my employer. Who was her employer? Back, like... Like, whose house is this? It was... Evan Cosby's house. Yeah, so this is Edmund's house. But she's not working for... I mean, she is working for Edmund here in, like, a Yeah, go to the um, thinking panel. It tells you who she's working for, doesn't it? Dark Hand Steward. Dark Hand Steward wanted Edmund Cloudsley dead, and thus Ada Baker poisoned. Okay, so who is the Dark Hand Steward? Uh, that would be Walter Keane. Wanted Edlin Cowsley dead, and thus Ada Baker poisoned. Yeah, uh, so Walter Keen is trying to blackmail Lazarus, but we already knew that. Right. Went to the inn. Went to meet Ada Baker. So we've got a body at the crossroads, a body at the cabin, and where's the third body? There's several bodies burned at the castle. Yeah, so there's a body here, a body here. And all the bodies. Oh, but this isn't the castle. We, the manor. We'd looked at that wrong, didn't we? 
we did. It's Blackfield Manor. Okay. idol at the islet islet because that's where the horse is um here yeah maybe that's where they started finding they found it at the islet, and on the way back, they started fighting. Because then he kills him. Or they could have. But then he would have had to kill him here. Here. Okay, let's try that. Hold on. Is... Is this body... Lazarus? Because... I don't know. I thought we, we assumed it was James Turner. Right, I think this might be... Gorin? I'm so confused! Because I'm wondering if they found the dead body at the crossroads. No. It's gotta be the golden idol because Alistair ends up with the golden idol and it would go in the blue part. So, I mean, we can potentially just keep putting <laughs> locations Wait. here. Yeah, I know. I don't want to do that though. We did. Tr we tried Crossroads. We know. And we tried Islet. Yeah. It. W I don't think anybody ever went to the castle. Right. It could have been at the manor. Maybe what's his name went to the manor first. And killed a bunch of people while he was there. Like Lazarus went there? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we know Lazarus went to the inn, but... Okay. So early in the morning. <laughs> Lazarus Hurst went to the manor. Do we put manor in there again? Because Dude. 
because the Golden Isles idol ends up at the manor. So Lazarus was there with the Golden Idol. Yeah. To... To kill somebody because somebody wanted to have the Golden Idol. The Golden Idol. It would be Golden Idol. It wouldn't be the Lost Years. Yeah. Early in the morning, Lazarus went to the manor to... Wanted to... Have the Golden Idol? It wouldn't be blackmail, kidnap, kill... Could be fined. He went to the manor to... Walter... If Mary and Peter Batley are a part of this first part or not. Or if they're just like red herring. You can put ideal life in there too. Yeah. What does their dialogue say again? Become the pure flower that I know you can be for me, Edmund Cloudsley, who is very dead. Yeah. I know where your unworthy mate is hiding you. Soon I will free you from his dirty paws and ship him to colonies. While you. I will put on a pedestal of sweetest praise and you will become my ideal wife. So we can't put like Edmund Cloudsley wanted something something ideal wife. No, you're right. Lazarus went to the manor to Can't put, like, hide the Walter Keen had tried to blackmail Oh my god. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh my god. You did it. Wow. <gasps> so yeah, he... Once you like put it in that order, I was like, okay, yes. That's what we were trying to get to. And yeah. We just couldn't... We just couldn't get... Yeah, so he went there to kill Walter because he Walter was trying to blackmail Lazarus Hurst right. to get and back his lost like years. Here. Yes. But um, Walter... He was like, ha ha, got you again, sucker. Mm-hmm. Fucking hell. Okay. So you can fill on the right side, too. Yes. Walter Keen killed David Gorin at the cabin. All right. Hey. We just have to make sense of the part that makes the least sense to us. Um. <laughs> Nicholas Maker is not dead, right? He's... Nicholas Maker is at the... He's here at the camp. Yeah, I don't think he has anything to do with anything. P. 
Peter Batley and Mary Batley are alive. Yeah. So it's none of the names down here. And it can't be James Turner or David Gorin. Or the Walter Keane or Alistair. Lazarus dies? I think it has to be him. Yeah. Because it can't be any other name. Alistair's yeah. still alive. James was killed later than this. Walter is alive and killed David later than this. Yeah. That's the only other name. Yeah. And so then he would be killed at the manor because it's the only other place there's a dead body, right? Yeah, and that's where the idol ended up. So who went there, went to the manor to... So is it David Gorin? Is David Gorin... David Gorin wants to kill Walter Keane, and he's using his knowledge that Walter Keane wants to kill or take the idol from Lazarus. So he's, like, following his footsteps, essentially? Maybe. My first impression was that he was doing his dirty work, but maybe he turned on it. Because, yeah, he, he goes to kill. He's, his ultimate goal is to kill Walter Keane. Because Walter Keane. It could Keen. also be Walter Keane that is just killing everybody and getting his revenge. True. Went to the manor to kill. Yeah, it could just be Walter Keane. Oh, I can't take it from there. Walter Keane went to the manor because Walter Keane wanted to have the Golden Idol. So he went to kill Lazarus. So maybe it is David Gorin. David Gorin went to the manor. So he would. He would also be the second place. Would he? Would he borrow into the man? We know Lazarus first because. Yeah, I think he wants to. Man, I just don't know. Maybe go to the manor. Yeah. It sure looks like a really fancy carriage, so I bet you that is Lazarus. Maybe Lazarus went there. Yeah. And... Went to the manor to... I...
It's either find, fight, kill, blackmail, kidnap, or have. Some of these. Alistair and James wouldn't have killed Lazarus at the manor. So it's one of these two. Don't, I'm so confused. <laughs> uh, okay. Get one of the, please. Does she call him brave? What does that mean? He would surely have taken the idol, though, right? Yeah, that's what you think. Whoever killed him would have taken the idol, and they don't. They leave it for those two goons to find. Right. So who wanted Lazarus dead? For reasons not associated with the idol. Did Peter Batley have something... So maybe he just thinks Lazarus is his enemy? Oh my god. What the fuck? Hold the phone. So he killed Lazarus at the manor. So Lazarus goes to the manor to... No, I think it'll be... Peter Batley went to the manor to kill Lazarus first because he wanted the ideal wife. He wanted to have the ideal wife. To kill, but it would be Esmond to kill, but uh, <laughs> he wanted to kill who? <laughs> who was stopping him from having the ideal wife? I don't feel like I feel like Edmund Cloudsley would have been the one who was stopping him from having the ideal wife, right? Maybe he wanted the idol, but why didn't he just take it? Yeah, it's... <laughs> what could possibly have happened? He went there to... kidnap?
So maybe Lazarus went there to kill Peter because Peter wanted to have the idol. But it backfired and he ended up dying. But then Peter didn't take the idol. I know, that's weird. What I'm wondering is if Peter doesn't have anything to do with this section. Like this is a something else going on and Peter took this opportunity to kill Lazarus at the manor. Why would he do that? I mean, I don't know. This is this like blew my mind that this was correct. Yeah. Nothing can stand in my way. I will kill our enemies wherever we go. So he owed money still, potentially? Because we haven't seen this dude, that dude in a while, right? Like, he's in this section. And he's... He's in the, the dinner party. David Gorin was a servant to Cloudsley. This is David. He killed my aunt. Edmund survived. He was supposed to die. And he survived because she poisoned the tonic or whatever it was. I just don't know. Is this the last time we see Peter? Before... Remember. Peter Batley before... Because he's not here. No. And he's not in the order, right? I don't think so. Yeah, he's not any of these men he's not any of these dudes no he's not here right none of these guys are so he just shows up at the end and kills yeah. Lazarus Hurst at the manor. Hi, Robert. Hello, hello. Uh, this is the case of the Golden Idol. It's been really fun, but we are stuck right at the end. <laughs> this is like the final big puzzle to put together. And wow there's just a lot of variables it's i don't know if you've played um return of the Oberdin, but it's sort of like that where you're like given a bunch of clues and you have to sort of reason out what happened yeah this one is i don't know if we're just missing clues or if it's a lot more in your head critical thinking I think it's the latter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very Sherlock Holmesy, and it actually does make your brain. You actually have to use it, which oh, is it's where. It's a lot of thinking. 
we're really stuck and we've been trying to like reason out <laughs> everything we've seen so far and like There's several people dead at the manor. Right, it's, it's a weird. pile of bodies at the manor. And we know Lazarus yeah. is one of them. He's dead. Yeah. But if we put Peter Batley in any of these slots, I don't think it makes sense for any of them. Early in the morning, Peter Batley went to the manor to... like kill I just don't be in the left if he's on the right if he ended up killing him but he has no tie to it there's just no way wanted to blank the blank blank so it's either um i do feel like it is the golden idol but if peter left the golden idol Yeah, I don't know. I think the first blanks are Lazarus because they give you the whole the carriage leaves at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And that's him. So right. I feel like He's in is... the carriage, and Goran was on the bike, and then the other two were on the horses. Yeah. Um. So he went to the manor. Two. These slots wouldn't be these guys. So it's either Peter Batley, Walter Keane, or David Gorin for these. Yeah. Went to the manor to kill Peter Batley because to fight Peter Batley because Peter Batley wanted to have the golden idol? He was very close to what we tried before. Yeah. <clears throat> Went to the manor to Let me indulge me for a second. 
Sebastian owns the manor. And he needed money. Peter lived at the manor. Right? Rose Kubert moved to Sebastian's manor. She's living with Peter. Like Mary is involved, if Peter's involved, then Mary's probably involved. I haven't used her. So that's a green. Do you think the, um, the, like, the thingies on the letters mean anything? It's a green one. Mm-hmm. So Peter... I don't think Peter went to the manor. I think Peter lived at the manor. I see where you're going with that. Okay, so Lazarus went there because Peter was there. Went to the manor. Will you go look at Mary again? Here, in this scene? Yeah, that's what made me think of the, uh, because she's got two different colors of letters. So one of them is probably from Peter. Mm hmm This is Peter, and this is, uh, Edmund. So... You think Lazarus wanted to marry her? Oh my god. And then Peter killed him. Before what? storming the king's castle with the order party, Lazarus led his men to Sebastian Cloudley's old manor in order to kidnap his long lost love, Mary Batley, nay Richards, who was hiding there with her husband, Peter Batley. Upon entering the manor, Lazarus I and his troops were confronted by a drunk Peter and the cannon he had won while gambling. Peter blew up Lazarus, breaking the idol, and then fled the scene with Mary. I'm confused. <laughs> when it ever indicated that he wanted to marry her. That's what I'm trying to remember, because I'm wondering... Can we like, oh, hold on. Uh -uh. 
Ah. Um, I really want to click back through it. I... I'm wondering... Because she had that note in her book. She had one from Peter and one yeah. from... Supposedly Ed from Edmund saying... You know... Do we think they're the same person? I am wondering... They sure as hell look like the same person. Oh shit. He's he's revo he's rewinding his age. That's why they look different. Is he pretending to be two different people? Is Edmund Cloudsley the old version and then he like zoops himself back to like young? Oh uh. my god. You're right. You're right. Look at him go. Look at him do it. Wait, what is? Wait, what is this? This is like. This is like um. Oh, it's an epilogue. Yeah, like figured like what was actually going on. Oh my god. Okay. So. Oh my god, okay, so Edmund Crowsley left the idol to, um, uh, David Gorin in his will. Hold, hold on one second. Mystical rituals and other hogwash are so stupid they did not realize that they had some truly miraculous technology in their hands. However, they are influential and persistent and have already caused a great deal of harm to me and my goals. Walter Keane has told me more about their organization and practices. If he tells the truth and they are truly devoted to their religious entity of Griffin Reborn, I could gain some powerful allies for my next move. Oh, okay. My pure Mary is joined in matrimony with that clown, Peter Batley. She must have done it out of grief for my death. Such a hasty decision goes against every principle of virtue. Therefore, I consider the marriage null and void. She will come to me once she learns I still live. But for now, my duties in the service of humanity take precedence. Oh, shit. Wow. These powers, I will do whatever is necessary to build a better world. for my loyalty to you and will undertake whatever tasks are required. I thank you for dealing with all the challenges of relating to my death and for keeping an eye on our new ally. I do feel I have impressed him not only with the golden idol but also with my vision of the ideal society. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. So he left the you idol. Also look out the window. Oh, can we? Donate to a veteran who lost his leg in the noble defense of his homeland. That's grim. Okay. 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 To the brotherhood, I guess. To the brotherhood. This one. <clears throat> David Gorin on Edmund Cross's orders. Wait, who had the idol to begin with? Was it Sebastian Cloudsley? Yes. Left it to the brotherhood. Is his will then... in here? Uh... Oh, the will would have been in this scene, right? Because it was. Oh yeah. Nicholas Maker was.
Oh, it was... Left the idol... Left the idol... To Willard Wright. To Willard Wright. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. And Willard Wright was in the... Brotherhood? I guess so. Willard Wright... He was in the order. It seems. Let's just leave that blank for now. He left it in his will, but then... Um... And accidentally stabbed Willard Wright. Right? Stole the idol. It was David Gorin on Edmund Clause's orders. That sounds right. The. Walter Keen. Mm. To punish Cloudsley? Yeah, that's what I would say. So is this also order? I, know. Or I thought it was the Brotherhood. Yeah. I think it would both be Brotherhood. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yes, that all makes sense. Left the idol to the Brotherhood in his will. Then David Gorin, on Edmund Cloudsley's order, stole the idol and stabbed Billy Wright at the inn. And then the Brotherhood tasked Walter Keane to punish Edmund Cloudsley and recover the idol, but his attempts were fruitless, which is like the robbery scene, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. During one attempt, Blank Blank was captured, and Blank Blank convinced him to join his side. Well, this is uh, idle. So this would also be Edmund Cloudsley, right? He used to make himself yes, right. under the new identity of Lazarus Hurst. Yeah. And this would be order. Wasn't it Alistair that he convinced? Because he's like, I can trust you now. Is that in this scene? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, transfer the head into the order party. Oh. I get what you're doing. I think that makes sense. Who was captured, though? Do you remember that scene where they're walking through with the... It's not like an actual scene, it's like an in-between the chapter scene, where they're walking through with the torch, and he's like, I can just do it. Oh. 
Turner and Coke. Other. James oh. Turner and Alistair Coke. Yeah. Right. Set it to take the heat. It's captured. Right, so it would be. David Gorin, perhaps? And convinces. The Brotherhood tasked Walter Keane to punish Edmund Clousley and recover the idol, but his attempts were fruitless. During one attempt, Walter Keane was captured. We... Maybe? Um... So who can... No, what? Maybe David Gorin was captured and convinced to join Walter Keane's side? Because David Gorin was knocked out? Walter Keane kills David Gorin at the end, though. I don't know. I don't know. Um, this would be Alistair Coke and James Turner, right? Yeah. Helped Lazarus. Yeah. Seize power in the country and enforce the rule of virtues by taking youth away from common people and giving it to the order party members. Right before the final showdown with the uncooperative king? Lazarus Hurst wanted to kidnap Mary Batley. But was shot by Peter Batley. And the idol was broken. So it's, it's just this. During one attempt, blank blank was captured. So maybe you're right. Maybe it is like Walter King thing. Or maybe it's David Gorin was captured and Edmund convinced him. Well, no, because he was already, He's already on. on. I think Walter Keane was on, I think it is. I think Edmund Cloudsley convinced Walter Keane to join his side because Walter Keane is the one who like recommended him become a member of the, the order and stuff, remember? Yeah. But then um, Lazarus stole all of Walter Keane's years so that's why he killed him at the end. Okay. Nice. Okay. So yeah. Wow. Walter Keane was captured and Edmund convinced him to join his side and then they worked together to infiltrate the Brotherhood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, it all makes so much more sense now. <laughs> Man. I was so confused there hurt. for a minute. <laughs> you know, my brain, I'm like, oh. Ugh. My brain. Oh. oh, goodness. We did it, everyone. We solved it. We did it. I also feel like 
if we were to cover this one on the podcast, it would be very difficult. <laughs> it would be. To talk about because we it's so... do it. I mean, basically, we would have to really iron out the story and figure out what they're, what it is. Mm-hmm. And then be like, you're really confused the whole time. And then at the end of it, you're sort of less confused, but still <laughs> kind of confused. <laughs> Pretty much. That's sort of how I felt at the end of Overdin the first time I played it, though. I was like, I'm yeah. pretty sure I understand what happened, but not 100%. And I had to, like, I went and, like, looked up, like, a chronological story online yeah, to, like, help myself connect all the dots. Um, I might do that with this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I really liked this one, but whew, that was yes. tough. That was tough. It takes a lot of brain power, but I, I liked it as well. Yeah. It was nice to have a game that, like, genuinely challenged us, because I feel like the last yeah. couple ones we played were just like... <laughs> Got it. Done. Thanks. Yeah, pretty mindless. A couple, like, tough, tiny puzzles here and there, but, like, the whole concept of this game, I feel like, was a lot more um, intense as far as yeah. puzzling goes. But yeah, I, I highly recommend it if you're just tuning in for the end or you haven't watched the whole series or yeah, it's I really like this. So it's yeah. a recommendation for me. I agree. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, well, we don't have much more to do tonight. Um, yeah, we'll be starting a new game next Tuesday. Um, the holidays are going to be really hit and miss this year yeah. um, so we'll have an infrequent schedule coming up the next few months but um, as many Tuesdays as we can do we will do them <laughs> yeah so alrighty well let's see if anybody's streaming uh, we got somebody playing Tomb of the Lost Queen Nice. That's fun. Yeah, I'm gonna send you over to Brittany. She's playing Tomb of the Lost Queen. Uh, go say hi to her and uh, enjoy her stream, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. That was a fun one. I feel very accomplished, like struggling through that last chapter. <laughs> I also feel like I need to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right.